So, dudes, welcome to another Operator How To. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Jordanian All Might, Team Rainbow's resident Kool Aid Man. At the door now. In and in and in. Rushing, rushing, rushing. What was that noise? Oh my god, you're not. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Follow my Twitch channel. We're also doing a giveaway for a PS4 Pro 500 million edition. Links to those in the description below. Oryx is a two-speedish roaming defender that... Yeah, two-speed two, two speed roamer, I know. Just, just hold on a second. Oryx is a two-speed roamer with an ability that allows him to not be a two-speed for brief periods of time. Wrestling with Giga Chad energy, Oryx, the Taken Operator, is capable of accelerating his body in short dashes and limited amounts. Here's the basic anatomy of an Oryx round. What the fuck? What? That same dashing ability can also be used to breach through soft walls and reduce furniture back to the base components it came in from the IKEA store. But most Papega crackheads are going to be interested in using it to peek. Oh, she helped in green windows. When Oryx anime launches himself through soft walls, he loses 10 health. This can eventually down him, and if he does it again after getting picked up, he will no longer be with us. The two-speed rating can be deceiving because it's this dashing ability that allows Oryx to cover short distances faster than his peers. The other three speeds in the game might be endurance runners, but Oryx is a running back. And we kind of need one. AP's getting old, man. Can you talk to him, Ron? Oryx's vertical jump is also just... Ha. Why are you here? What do you mean? I mean... Why do you want to join... This? Why join anything? I suppose... My answer is... I have always wanted Okay, no, no, stop. I've done this before, trust me. It doesn't- it doesn't go anywhere. Um, have you ever heard of basketball? What is basketball? Well, it's a game that involves, um, a lot of jumping, and you're very good at it. Like, like bloody good. It doesn't even make sense how good you are, frankly. And you wouldn't really have any problem finding a job. I mean, instant money. I am not interested in the money. You're not? No, no. I'm doing this for myself. We can start you tomorrow. Uh, just, just fill this out. Oh, um, okay. Uh, it says, it says here, organization. I am not currently with one. Oh, just, just leave that blank. That's one thing we did get out of Amaru. The hatch jumping mechanic was carried over to Oryx, and it allows him to climb and chill on the ledge, or hop over it and surprise the shit out of his opponents. This ability to traverse the map makes Oryx a bit difficult to roam clear, and in combination with his bulletproof camera, he can play off of the site and go for picks where the attackers least expect it. Oryx can go for undetected runouts that allow him to get his gun up before the detected timer ticks down. If you're Boblo, Oryx might be the roamer for you. High risk, high reward. Oryx is equipped with an MP5 ACOG less. If you're nothing without the ACOG, you shouldn't have the ACOG. Gamer fact number five. The MP5 is worse than the MPX. No, like, it actually is worse. The only reason you don't care is because it has an ACOG. Aim for the header, you're going to be losing a lot of gunfights. The MP5K and the MP5SD both put up more damage. Because... Because fuck it. It's not a bad gun. It has the whole low recoil, high rate of fire thing, and it makes it suited for playing aggressively, and you can still use it from long ranges for peaks. In terms of recycled submachine guns, we're running out of low recoil, high rate of fire guns. Can't wait for the new operator with the UMP45. They need to be about Cade's age, so they can be old as shit with the worst gun in the game. What's that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Rotate Man, and he's here to make rotates that his teammates won't make. Rotate Man, Rotate Man! Our Ruck didn't break impact nades! A Ruck without impact nades? My rotate powers ought to fill in that gap, or make one. Rotate man, the hatch is soft, but we can't destroy it to look into the room below. What's this? A soft hatch on our floor that hasn't been destroyed? My bale of 410 ought to put a hole in that. Uh, Rotate man, are you okay? You look, you look kind of banged up, dude. It, it's cool, like, I, I think we have enough rotates. What's this? A soft wall that provides an opportunity for a run out. My rotate powers ought to, oh God. Oh God, that hurts. Oh man. I can only do it 10 times. 
and I lost count. And I'm paying for it. I'm paying for it good. Please help. Orcs can make lots and lots of sight rotates, but they're very big and don't leave much for you in the way of nuance. Like we mentioned before, he loses health every time he does it. An occasional rotate and a loss of 10 health isn't going to do much to you in a gunfight, but if your buddies keep asking for them, they should probably have considered bringing a shotgun. Speaking of shotguns, Oryx has the Spaz-12, which isn't that good, but it's fun to use, so that's something. Out of here! <laughs> no way. That was a carrier too. There's one thing about Oryx that makes him a force to be reckoned with, though, and that's his ability to counter shields. The dash that he does isn't just good for traversing the map or making rotates. This dude can lariat enemy attackers with ease, including Montang. He's right here. You could, you could come, yeah, hit him. Fuck! That's, <laughs> That's so fucking funny. That's so good. <laughs> That's amazing, bro. <laughs> this gets into a little bit of Oryx's potential competitive viability to counter a Mani plan. If I had been Oryx in this situation, well, the round could have ended a bit differently. In a 1v1, Oryx has the upper hand against a Montang as a definite hard counter, but in a 2v1, it's pretty easy to bait him out since there's a fairly long delay after Oryx smashes through something to keep him from being able to get the drop on people. Without that brief delay period that it takes for him to get his gun up, he'd be a little bit busted. I like that we have something that can finally deal with shields, though, besides smoke. And if you hate them as much as I do, then maybe consider bringing in an Oryx a little bit more often. And ranked, a lot of the strict usage of droning and team coordination isn't really present. It's the sort of thing that makes Cav a good operator in this environment, whereas our comp viability isn't really there. Oryx is one of those ranked operators. And I think that's okay. I still think his map traversing capabilities are useful, and his ability to go full demolition on a site will make setups for some teams a lot faster. If you're on attack, the best advice is to just stay out of his way. He can also play off of a bulletproof camera to make sure that he's not face checking stuff whenever he jumps through hatches. His 2 speed rating is deceiving, because he has all the armor of a 2 speed, but the mobility of a 3 speed. Sort of. And that makes for a pretty effective roamer in my opinion. Though his gun is a bit eh. Aim for the head, and you'll be okay. That's all you need to know about Oryx. Actually, it's in here, I think. Good shit. Last one's gonna be here, Down to 15 seconds. Study, study. Just show he's got a, he's got a plan. Gregor, you're- Yana is a little bit more complicated, and you'll see what I'm talking about in that video coming up next. Thanks so much for watching. Deuces. Yeah.